Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My boar goat Cupid is finally in labor, so let's get to work. <laughs> So that's just the water bag right now. It's not a fluid sack from the baby, so we're just going to let it progress. So the footage here is sped up because it took Cupid a little while to push out her baby. And what I'm doing here is keeping tension on the baby's legs. I'm not pulling. It looks a little bit more aggressive because it's sped up. But he kind of was sucking back in every time she'd stop contracting. So I decided to go in and just hold his legs. So this guy had a massive head which made it super difficult for her to push out just because he was so big. I'm really happy I was there to help because in these situations, if the labor takes too long, you're going to compromise the baby. So I'm super happy I was able to come out here and help her out. Push your baby out. Ah! There you go. There you go, mama. Come here. Look, it's your baby. Come on. 
That's a big boy. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, that's one very big buck kid so far. I'm hoping that's all she has, because that was a huge pull. There you go, Mama. There you go. So Cupid had one buckling and he weighs 9.8 pounds, which is wild. The heaviest four kid I've had born here so far is 10.6 pounds and that was Cowboy. Um, but this was a big boy. I don't know if he would have come off by himself. Like I had to really help get him out. So that was fun. I've seen him latch on already. So I'm just doing the normal after birth care, giving vitamins, dipping the navel in iodine, clipping the navel if it's a little bit too long, making sure that mama has some nice fresh warm water. That's the start of the boar goats kidding. And I never would have thought that she was gonna kid before maple, but she's still hanging on to her babies, so we'll see how that goes. I really think she's gonna have three. And I'd already guessed that this lady was going to have one. So there we go. But she has a massive udder. Like it's huge. So I may have to milk her out every so often to make sure that she doesn't get engorged. But this guy looks like a very hungry boy. So he might drink it all. Who knows? So, one single buckling for Cupid, and his name is Caballero, which is Spanish for gentleman or horseman. So, say hello to Wild West Caballero. <laughs> and a very proud mama. Right, Cupid? Yeah. He is a very, very lovely little buckling. He's got a good bite, he's got one by one teats, and he's got a good scrotum, so because of that, he looks super healthy, super chalk, <laughs> very relaxed, so I will be selling him as a breeding buck as I already have three here and I just cannot keep them all, so he will be registered and hopefully he will go to a herd of his own. But for now, we're just going to enjoy snuggling with him and making him super friendly, so. <laughs> you like your baby? Yeah, you made that one. So, still waiting on the biggest one of all. Look at that belly. <laughs> How many you got in there, Maple? So I'm thinking that she probably has three in there because Cupid over there had that one really big single buckling and she hardly looked pregnant. So yeah, my guess is three for Maple and I'm hoping there's at least one doling in there because She'll be my fifth boar goat ever to kid, and I've only ever had one doling born here on the farm for boar goats. I think I'll leave it off there. Maple still has her ligaments, so we don't have to worry about her for today or probably tomorrow, so hopefully she has them soon. 
guess she's just gonna bake them till they're perfect. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>